Hi, today we're going to talk about the chemistry behind the heat pack. Yay! One fine day, Stickman went out for a walk. He encountered a storm. And somehow, snow started falling. He feels cold, like obviously. So, Stickman, do you want extra clothing or a cup of coffee? Too bad, all of these are not available here. Heat pack to the rescue! What is a heat pack made of? Is it made out of heat and Pac-Man? No! Heat pack is actually made out of wood and vermiculite, salt, activated carbon and iron powder. When the heat pack is exposed to the air, the iron reacts with oxygen in the air to form iron tree oxide or rust as we commonly know. This is a redox reaction and it is exothermic and the enthalpy change is negative. Activated carbon acts as a catalyst for the reaction and lowers the activation energy required for the reaction. Then, how did the reaction generate so much heat in such a short time? Well, the iron powder is grounded. It has a large surface area, therefore increasing the frequency of effective collisions. Thus, the rate of reaction increases, hence more heat is generated per unit time. Salt, being hydroscopic in nature, attracts moisture and thus accelerates rusting as water is essential for rusting. How does it retain heat then? The vermiculite and wood powder are good insulators of heat, and hence can help and retain the heat inside the pack, keeping it from dissipating too quickly. Here's our simulation for a heat pack.
elaborate more on the other type of heat pack, namely a sodium acetate heat pack. The heat pack contains sodium acetate, which is a supercooled liquid, water and stainless steel disc. Supercooled liquid remains a liquid at temperatures way below freezing point. When an impurity is added, it causes a domino effect where the sodium acetate solidifies. This reaction generates heat. 